OpenAI just raised $40 billion, the largest private funding round in history. Bigger than Stripe, bigger than SpaceX. And there's a catch. OpenAI needs to completely overhaul its corporate structure. Elon Musk is suing, governments are watching. And if this deal closes, the future of AGI might belong to shareholders, not the public. What does this mean for the trajectory of AI? Is OpenAI still committed to benefiting humanity? Or is it veering towards prioritizing power, valuation, and market dominance? In 2015, OpenAI began as a non-profit organization with one mission, to ensure that artificial general intelligence would benefit all of humanity. This wasn't just idealism, it was built on a very real fear. Its founders, including Elon Musk and Sam Altman, worried that profit-driven AI companies might one day create systems that couldn't be controlled. So they built something different, a structure with no shareholders, no equity, no profit incentives, just one goal, safety for everyone. Fast forward to today, OpenAI stands as one of the most influential AI entities globally, regardless of true performance on benchmarks or what have you. Its chat GPT model has revolutionized how individuals work, learn and create. And its GPT models have set new benchmarks for language-based intelligence. You'd think it'd be easy to keep going if things are already working well. If it isn't broken, don't fix it. That's when reality as they see it sets in. There's a challenge. Developing advanced AI models is capital intensive. Training GPT-4 required hundreds of millions of dollars and scaling further demands even more in terms of computing power, talent and infrastructure. In 2019, OpenAI introduced a hybrid model, a capped profit subsidiary known as OpenAI LP. This structure allowed investors to earn returns, but only up to a certain limit. Now, with formidable competitors like Anthropic, Google, DeepMind, and XAI emerging, this model no longer suffices. Investors are seeking full returns. No more caps, no more compromises. This new $40 billion round would effectively unwind that model. The non-profit parent would be spun out into an independent entity, and venture investors, who currently hold convertible notes, would see those convert into actual equity. In short, OpenAI becomes a real tech company with real shareholders, real profit motives, and possibly a very real IPO down the road. In fact, Mark Klein, CEO of Suro Capital, an investor in OpenAI, casually mentioned on a recent earnings call that OpenAI is one of their expected future IPOs. According to a new disclosure from SoftBank, the total investment could be cut down to just $20 billion if OpenAI doesn't complete its for-profit restructuring by December 31st. And this isn't an easy switch. OpenAI must relinquish its capped model and fully embrace a for-profit status. But the restructuring would need approval from Microsoft, the California Attorney General, and it's currently being challenged in court by Elon Musk, one of OpenAI's original founders. Here's what we know about this monumental deal. First, the $40 billion funding round is led by SoftBank, with participation from existing investors like Microsoft, and new sovereign wealth funds from the Middle East. That $40 billion bumps OpenAI's valuation to $300 billion, putting it right up there with the world's biggest privately held tech giants. It now sits just behind SpaceX, valued at $350 billion, and neck and neck with ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, according to CB Insights. To put it in perspective, this new raise is nearly three times larger than the previous record holder, Ant Group's $14 billion round back in 2018, according to PitchBook. Who's behind the money, you ask? Well, the biggest player is SoftBank. They're leading the round with a whopping $30 billion stake. Other major investors include Microsoft, OpenAI's core backer, along with CoQ, Altimeter, and Thrive Capital. According to OpenAI, the fresh capital will help it push the frontiers of AI research even further and massively scale up its compute infrastructure. Nearly 18 billion of the funding is expected to go toward OpenAI's Stargate project, part of a joint venture with Oracle and SoftBank that was announced earlier this year. Crucially, this deal grants major stakeholders significant equity, translating to substantial control and potential upside if OpenAI goes public. 
In essence, this isn't just about capital infusion, it's about solidifying OpenAI's position as the preeminent force in AI. However, this move isn't without its controversies. Elon Musk departed from OpenAI in 2018 due to disagreements over its direction, but recently he's adopted a more confrontational stance. He's initiated legal action against OpenAI, alleging that the company has deviated from its foundational non-profit charter. Musk accuses Sam Altman and the board of transforming OpenAI into a profit-maximizing machine. He perceives OpenAI's evolution from a mission-driven lab to a centralized AI superpower that might prioritize shareholder interests over safety considerations. But what's driving Musk's actions? It's worth noting that Musk now leads XAI, his own AI venture, and has integrated Grok into X, formerly Twitter. So there's undoubtedly competitive tension here, but there's also a clash of ideologies. Musk advocates for open source, decentralized AGI development, and OpenAI's current trajectory is moving in the opposite direction. Let's be candid. This $40 billion raise isn't solely about developing more sophisticated AI models. It's about consolidating influence and control. The entity that commands the most advanced AI models effectively dictates the infrastructure of the future. Education, legal systems, governance, commerce, defense, and much more. All these sectors are increasingly reliant on AI-driven systems. By securing this deal, OpenAI positions itself as the apple of AGI, a singular and powerful yet closed ecosystem. As we're saying this, Apple themselves even had a chance to join in the funding a few months ago and denied it for a much larger chess move not many saw coming. We'll have it linked at the end of this video. As we were saying, OpenAI will position itself as a closed ecosystem. This development prompts critical questions. Number one, can a private entity accountable to shareholders be entrusted with managing AGI? Number two, will profit motives overshadow safety considerations? Number three, does this set a precedent for other AI labs to prioritize valuation over caution? If OpenAI finalizes this deal, the global implications will be profound. Firstly, anticipate a surge in mega funding rounds as competitors strive to keep pace. Venture capital and sovereign wealth funds may double down on AI infrastructure, compute leasing, and foundation model labs to keep pace with OpenAI. This could lead to an arms race in capital deployment, where success isn't just about innovation, but about who can build the biggest war chest to control data, GPUs, and AI talent. Then, expect governments to introduce new regulatory frameworks focusing on safety, competition, and transparency. There would be discussions about whether foundation models should be treated like public utilities or critical infrastructure and whether centralized AI poses a systemic risk. The EU's AI Act, the US Executive Order on AI, and China's draft AI rules will likely gain urgency, with new amendments aimed directly at mega-scale models and their governance. Additionally, brace for a deepening ideological divide in the AI community between open source advocates and corporate AI conglomerates. On one side, corporate AI empires, building centralized, closed, heavily monetized systems. Think OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and whoever joins the 40 BD club next. These companies will prioritize performance, IP protection, and shareholder value. On the other, open source AI labs, indie developers, and research collectives advocating for transparency, decentralization, and universal access to models. Think Hugging Face, Eleuther AI, and Stability AI. As OpenAI embraces its new empire status, trust will be tested. Developers who once saw OpenAI as a neutral lab may now view it as a walled garden. And most importantly, prepare for a shift in public perception of OpenAI. While it may continue to assert its commitment to humanity's best interests, it will also be beholden to investors, and these objectives don't always align seamlessly. OpenAI has just made history with a $40 billion deal and a $300 billion valuation. An organization founded to safeguard the world from unchecked AI now stands as the most rapidly advancing entity in the industry. And the pressing question isn't whether they can develop AGI, it's whether they can be trusted to steward it responsibly. One thing is clear, the era of idealistic AI research labs has concluded. We've entered the age of AI empires, and this $40 billion deal is a bold proclamation of dominance. Stay informed.
because the forthcoming developments will shape the future of technology, power structures, and perhaps the very essence of humanity. We'll be here to bring you along through it, so stay tuned. With that all said and done, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.